Plaintiff Vicki Fulkerson says she rented a room in the defendant's home, and soon after moving in, she realized he was nothing but a narcissistic sex addict. Vicki claims she moved out of the defendant's home because she no longer felt safe, and she's suing for rent and lost wages. Defendant Earl Adams and his girlfriend Connie Pridemore say Earl is not a sex fiend, but he does admit that he and Vicki had consensual sex on a few occasions. Earl's countersuing for the cost of a refrigerator. Let's start with you. I'm here to stand up for all the single moms that have break, broken away from abusive relationships only to be taken advantage of. That's right. In December, um, a week before Christmas, my home was foreclosed on. Um, so I uh, <coughs> approached Mr. Adams about renting a room for myself and my two boys. I have a, a 11-year-old and a 14-year-old, uh, two sons. And it started out fine. Um, when I interviewed him, he seemed very ch charming. So I moved everybody in, and that's when it changed. Um, Your Honor, I can't even make eye contact with him. What he happened? is so narcissistic, and he's addicted to sex. It's insane. Were you all involved? No, sir. Okay. Can't look at him or me. That's right. Oh. <laughs> no, I can, he's eye candy. You know, I can look a, at him. Hey, he's a handsome guy. I understand. You got to turn <laughs> turn your head to control yourself. Yeah, I, I got you. And I get I get inquiries about uh, Dole. He, it hurts my ego when I'm out in public. <laughs> I think they're coming up to me. Oh, Judge, all oh, the pretty ladies. Oh, yes. Judge. I'm like, <laughs> he said, where's Doyle? <laughs> I'm like, you son of a gun. <laughs> well, you've got a great profile on both sides. All right. But how do you know he was that? When I moved in, he said we had to have a meeting. And I assumed it was to go over the terms of the lease and the agreement. But unfortunately, he said, now we need to go over the sleeping arrangements. And I said, pardon me? He said, do you want to sleep with me when your boys are here or only when your boys are with their dad? And I said, I am a single mom. I'm trying to okay. reestablish. So you did reject him? Yes. All right, so that's why you characterize him as a sex addict, because he was kind of coming on to you? Well, and the fact that he would often walk around the house naked. Okay. Um, Your Honor, none of this is true. You can't look at him or me. That's right. Oh. <laughs> no, I can, he's eye candy. Oh, I can look at him. Hey, he's a handsome guy. I understand. You got to turn turn your head to control yourself. Yeah. Plaintiff Vicki Fulkerson says after she rented a room in the defendant's home, she discovered he was a sex addict. And although the defendant denies that, he does admit that he and Vicki had consensual sex a few times. Sir? Your Honor, um, first and foremost, uh, I don't believe that I'm a sex addict, Your Honor. I mean, if I... <laughs> like, Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> if he is, then I am. That's right. That's right. She says that that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm not Go complaining. Ahead, sir. Your Honor, I'll be honest, though, we uh, we did have consensual sex a few times during you and the uh, plaintiff. 60 days. All right. Yeah. Go Your ahead. Honor, if he's referring when he uh, got me drunk and seduced me. <laughs> <laughs> Three or four Good times. Enough. Go ahead, ma'am. You act like he was sexually harassing you. And how many times did you, in fact, have sex with him? Once. Uh, once when he got you drunk and seduced you? Yes, sir. All right. What did you say to him when you sobered up? I told him I was back in church and I want to do right. Good. All right. Did you repent? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. If you won the, if you felt that you're going back to church because you committed a sin and you don't want to sin anymore, Absolutely. you repent and you pray for strength. Did you right. do all that? Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, I'm praying for that guy. So why did you move? Let's start there. It was not safe. Uh -huh. for my children, uh -huh. and I didn't feel it safe okay, for myself. Okay, when did you move? Uh, I moved out on March 24th. Okay, did you tell him you were moving? Um, no. And he owes you rent? Well, I had to find, my rent was already paid through uh -huh. April So you 1st. want a refund? Is that why you're suing yes, him sir. for rent? 
what weeks uh, are you requesting your um, rent refund? Two weeks. Two the, weeks. The last How two much weeks? was the rent per month? Four hundred. All right. So you want two hundred for rent for two weeks, and um, what else is your claim for um, lost wages? Yes. Um, on March twenty fifth, he changed the locks, mm -hmm. and I am also a fashion photographer. I could not get back into the house and I had two photo shoots and I lost. What did you have remaining in the house that you needed to get? My camera, my studio camera. And I just wanna, when did you get your camera back? Um, I got it on April 2nd. April 2nd. So how did you get the camera? Um, I had a friend go over there and get it for me. And lost wages of how much? Um, $2,000. And that's because you missed uh, some shoots you could um, have had? Two photo shoots, yes. All right. Let me hear from him. I find that uh, Vicki uh, is a liar about many of the things. Uh, one example is she said that we she had to have a sexual relationship with me, I guess, to live there on a protective order. Mm -hmm. um, none of that's true. Tell me about the move out. How did all that occur? Um, <clears throat> we, uh, it was uh, either March 25th, 26th. Uh, Vicki had been out all night. She came in at two o'clock in the morning to get, I guess, a change of clothes or something. Mm -hmm. her dog. But anyways, her, her dog was actually what she mm -hmm. came to pick up. And uh, anyways, we're sitting there on a the couch and as she went to leave, she came around to the front of the couch and called me a d your honor. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, somebody comes to me half loaded like that and no, stated. And I, I said, look, you're just being belligerent. You need to, you know, just okay. go. Or Did you go mean leave career. permanently? Uh, at that time, I, I knew it was best at that all right, time. So the whole you, month of March. All right. So you told her to leave immediately. Now, what was the range for her to come and get her things? I went to the police station the next day, uh, took the advice of the police officer that I had every right to change locks. So I come back home, did that before I had to go to work. I think she apparently showed up about 630 uh, while Connie would have been the only one home. She brought other people with her. And I think that 630 that to, very next morning, no, the very next evening. All right, ma'am. She waited till he went to work. Did you come the next evening? Yes, that's how. All I, right, and you were let in. No, oh no, that's how what I. Happened I, I tried to came. use my key. Um, when she came, she came with her friend, and right. I did was not. Was she let in? Not at that time. All right. She how was long not did let she, in until the oh, next day. Next day, she came by herself, and she was there uh, for the next three or four days or All whatever. Right. Why couldn't she get her things that neck that second she could've, day? She could have. Got her. So oh, what was said? No, I wouldn't say. Why up do you think she came there? To get her stuff. So why didn't she? She did get her stuff. She was she moved all. It took her till April second to move out. We've got photos of her being in the house and all of her stuff and her getting her stuff. Let's see the photos. Okay. <clears throat> oh wait, this is the one I want. You told me you didn't get your, your Honor, things. You told me the only thing you got was your camera. And that's how she left. And you say the you house. got that through a third person. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Let me. <clears throat> Let me clarify, if I may. The next day, which was March 25th, I returned. I tried my key. I, I got that part. Yeah. The next day. She said you came every day she, until April 2nd. She and said, then you did get your thing. Yeah. It wasn't until April. No. How many days did you go? Well, I was moving. I'm a single mom. I was moving at home by myself. Ma'am, you continue to yes. use that no, single I'm mom. Sorry. Now you're giving me the impression okay, that you're I'm, trying to manipulate no, my I'm not. emotions I'm sorry. by continuing to refer to yourself as a single mom. I'm and now you're crying. Please give her some tissue. And ma'am, I have to tell you, your testimony is not coming across credible. You've told me two different things. Your Honor, um, first and foremost, I, I don't believe that I'm a sex addict, Your Honor. I mean, if I... <laughs> Like, man? <laughs> <laughs> Plaintiff Vicki Fulkerson says after she rented a room in the defendant's home, she discovered he was a sex addict. And although the defendant denies that, he does admit that he and Vicki had consensual sex a few times. Who has any other evidence? You all communicate I, at all? I, yes. Because you, you have a uh, recording. What is that I recording going to tell I have a recording, and this was after I had left... And it was, um, and I'm. What is it going to tell me? Um, me stealing um, Connie's bras. 
She accused either myself or my two boys of stealing eight of her yeah, undergarments. It's not part of the lawsuit today. Now, let's get back to evidence. You have texts of requests and responses yeah. well, for and her I also... items. No, just text. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I've I'm seen enough upset. pictures that show me nothing. Your Honor, I do have some texts. Just let me have what you have. So okay. What you got. Thank you. <clears throat> Your Honor, if I may, mm -hmm. um, she really would just uh, uh, put a big duress as well as slander of character. No time, no date. All right, man. One of the problems I read through immediately is that you say you will be losing $200 in income for your photo shoots. You told me $2,000. Sir, I said 2000 it's a thousand dollars. I want you to read the text, ma'am. Part with the star next to it. Okay. I, All right. I'm sorry. This is a typo. Gotcha. Let's get to the counterclaim for the refrigerator. Your Honor, she had a refrigerator that's for sale now as her home was foreclosing, like she said. Our agreement was that it was going to become mine. Uh, for four hundred dollars, as well as the work that I'd already done for her, and she was to just, give you. You were to give her four hundred dollars. Well, I was going to take a month off of rent. Did that happen? No, she changed it, and two hundred dollars of it went into effect. All right. So why do you want her refrigerator for two hundred dollars? I yeah. I just felt that I had earned it, Your Honor, and you know. <laughs> Wow. That's where that narcissist... I had to live with her for three or four months. I'm That's why you want it. All right. You want her refrigerator because you earned it because you had to live with her for three or four months. And ma'am, your, your testimony has been very inconsistent regarding your wages and many other things, but I will grant you your $200 in rent back. And she has a right to keep her refrigerator. That deal did not go through. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $200, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. And, well, I'll even give you the uh, lost wages because I do believe that your camera was uh, there. I'll give you an extra 200 which is what I believe you meant when you put that in this text. <laughs> so I will give you $400. Right. That's your judgment. Your Honor? No. Have a good day. <laughs> your counterclaim is this new. that is pleasuring themselves right in front of you. And it's drinking, what, how you were drinking pleasure in yourself in front of me? Uh, no, I yes. don't think so. Oh you're yes, going. Vicki, stop lying what and you're going hell? to church. Are you, are really, you, you need to go back and repent is right? what you need to do because the Lord is watching you now, lady. Right, <laughs> just like you Woo! were homeless. Look out, look out. You in because you were homeless. Hey. Hey, you had to save her because she was on drugs, right? That was just no, to keep you from freaking drugs. out. I already told you. You went and the had sexual accusations against an innocent man. Who was right. that? Right. Yeah, you was loving on it. You got alcohol. mad because I wasn't. Oh, never I showed up. Yes, yes. Four uh, times, Vicky, four times. Boy, you right. even loved on him over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs>